guys and welcome back to my channel so obviously I am doing a look on this right here it's really fun I mean I've done hair wise before but not with these colors so I really like how they complement each other and go together for this look I have used the B by Bubs Beauty palette from BH Cosmetics and this is what it looks like I was originally going to film two different videos this weekend but I needed to borrow makeup from my mother and she won't let me borrow them. However, my very kind friend Rowan, she let me borrow this palette and I'm really happy that she did because I really like how this look turned out and I was able to get creative and match some colours that I wouldn't necessarily normally put together. Um, and create some fun looks so I'm really happy. I've never used this palette before, I've only seen pictures of it online when she's um, shown me it. I've not used anything from BH Cosmetics before so I had no idea how this was going to fare and I will show you some swatches before we get into the video. So I actually I quite like the names of them as well, they're like all like complimentary names like happy, grateful, things like that. But anyway, we'll jump right into the swatches. So here are the swatches. The first six are the top row and then the last six are the second row. So I like how we've got a range of matte and shimmers. We've got some light shades here which can be used for like um, inner corner highlights or brown bone highlights. And we've got some mattes for transition shades. Some really nice bronzy coppery shades here. And I actually love this colour so much. Sorry, I'm going in for this. Love this colour so much. The purple here, um, I thought it was going to be a bit more pigmented, but I think it'd be nice as like a really nice like inner corner highlight. Or something like that. So yeah, overall I'm really impressed with this palette. And now we'll jump right into the video and get started. So we're going to start off with the eyes today, so I'm going to zoom you right on in. And I'm just going to start off by priming my eyes using the NYX HD Eye Primer. It's been a while since I have used this. I tend to just use like foundations um, or concealers and occasionally if it's a special occasion my um, Urban Decay one but I'm just going to set that with a little bit of my RCMA no colour powder and for today's look I'm going to be using the the Bad Bubs Beauty Eyeshadow Palette from BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to start by taking this shade right here called Optimistic. And this is just going on a Morphe M139 brush. And I'm just going to place this on the outer corner and bring it in into my crease. And then I'm going to place it on my inner corner as well. I find it weird that when I do my eyeshadow, even though I pick up the same amount of product and do the same process with my brush, with each eye, the right eye always seems to come out better and a little bit more pigmented. Just my right eye is always better. It's really weird and it's annoying. Like I don't know if you can tell on camera, but my right eye is just a little bit more brown and this one's just a little bit lighter and more orange. It's weird. I don't know why that happens. Even though, again, I do the same thing, I always get a slightly different shape as well. It's weird. So once you're happy with that, we're just going to blend out the edges. And I'm, for this, I'm just going to take a NYX blending brush. This is the number 16 brush. And I'm just going to very softly blend out the edges. And then I'm going to be taking a Morphe B43 brush. And I'm going to be taking this colour here called Inspired. I'm not going to take in a lot of this product, just a tiny amount. And I'm going to place this very lightly on the outer and inner corners. And then again with that next brush, just 
blend it out. And then I'm going to wipe off that product and using the same brush I'm going to go into uh, this colour right here and this is called Confident. And I'm just going to take that over the dark brown and I am going to bring this in into the crease very lightly. And again in the inner corner. A good tip for halo eyes is to always bend your head back and then look down at the mirror and then this way you see the circle that you're creating and just to make, it makes you aware of how even the product is so I that's just how I like to do it because I just like to look down and just see where I'm placing the product. That or I kind of look slightly down and lift up my eyebrows. It's entirely up to you. I really like how well these colours are showing off. I haven't used any BH Cosmetics products before so I didn't know what it was going to be like. But I think so far the mattes have been proven to be really pigmented and really easy to blend out. What I like to do with halo eyes is I like the shadow, the shimmer shadow in the middle to be like the length of like the colour part of my eye, so like from the start of where the colour part is to the middle, so the whole circle, that's how wide I like it. So when I'm so when I'm blending out the mattes and like the transition shades, I always use like looking straight ahead, I always use that as like a reference of how much like product I need to put on beforehand ready for like the shimmer or the colour in the middle. And then again, once you're happy with that, go back to blending it all out. Now, I'm kind of disappointed that this palette doesn't have a black in it. Um, and I would like to just deepen out, kind of like the outer and inner corner ever so slightly. Not so much that you would see the black, again, just to add a little bit of depth. So I'm just going to be taking my next single shadow in Raven. And I'm going to take this on a B42 brush from Morphe. I'm literally just tapping in the brush just a tiny little bit into the product just to get a little bit of black on. And then I'm just going to kind of lightly pack this on um, the outer corner right near the lashes. The outer corner, sorry. Right near the lashes. Just a little bit and just wiggle it on. And then again on the inner corner, right near the lashes. And then using the same brush, I'm just going to back into that purple that we used before, um, Confident from the BH palette. And I'm just going to go over that just lightly, just to kind of make it look like a really deep dark purple, not so much a black. And this will also help to blend that black out into the rest of the, the colours. Now I don't know how these shades are going to best play out, whether they're going to show up more pigmented with a finger or with a brush. So we'll try with a brush first. I'm just going to use an eye colour brush from number 7. And I'm going to spray some of my um, NYX setting spray on it, just to get it a little bit wet. And then I'm going to take this colour here, which is called Abel, and I'm just going to pack this on the centre of the lids. Actually better than I thought. Do that. I'm now going to try my finger to see if there's any difference. So I'll try my finger on the other side. Now normally shimmers do show up better when you use a finger. However, I think in this instance that actually might be better with a wet brush. So I'm going to go back and spray some more setting spray on my brush. Then what to do is with the 
B42 brush for Morphe or with any kind of similarly small blending brush. You're just going to want to go over the edges so that they're not harsh. Um, and what I like to do sometimes is just take a little bit of the colour that was there before, a minuscule amount, you're barely touching the product, and just run this over the edges. Just ever so slightly. Now with that brush that we used before, I have wiped a lot of the product off it with a makeup wipe. I'm just going to go into the shade Hopeful. I'm not putting any setting spray on or anything like that. I'm just dabbing it in and tapping off the excess. And I'm just going to put a little dot right there in the centre. Literally, you can barely see it. But it, I think it just adds a little extra something. It's one of those things where you can't see it, but when you add it, it does add something extra. It's, it's weird. It's just It's one of those weird things in life. But anyway, now that we've done that, I'm going to, if I can find the product on my table, I'm going to just use my number 7 Stay Perfect Gel Eyeliner and I'm just going to pop this on my waterline, my tight line, my waterline, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to give this brush a quick wipe actually, because even though this product was the last thing I've used, it's just feeling a little bit less flexible. And I like flexibility, I so do. Don't know why. But I watched um, the last episode of Pretty Little Liars last night and ever since then I've kind of been talking in a Cockney accent or at least trying to, I'm not very good at accents uh, but yeah, it's weird Going back to the tutorial, I'm just going to take a little bit of this product it is like one of the creamiest gel liners ever so I'm hoping that will make it be long lasting and I'm just going to this. So I've only just realised that my camera cut out in the middle of doing this. But anyway, sure. So anyway, I've done my um, tight line water line thingy midgety, and I'm gonna also take this product back, and I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna do a really thin line where my lashes are, and that'll just hide the lash band when we put them on it. Alright chaps, there's one done. I'm trying really hard not to pull my eye when I do my eyeliner because I don't want to get me. Sometimes I need to, especially when I'm doing my left eye and I think that's because I'm right handed so it's harder for me to do it. But we're trying. Practice makes perfect. Now that we've done that, I'm going to move on to my face so I will zoom you by home. There we go! I'm trying this new thing because I was always like this and it would like cut it in forehead. So I'm trying. So I'm just going to use my number 7 Beautifully Matte Foundation and again just the four pumps of that, it's my favourite foundation and then I'm just going to take my little sponge, basically you know the drill so I'm just going to skip through all of this bit. So I have just um, put foundation on, put concealer on and then powdered my face. I'm then going to move on to like bronzing, things like that. And I'm going to take the Nikki Tutorials Too Faced palette. I'm going to take the Chocolate Soleil Bronze on, on a Bare Minerals Flawless Face Brush. And I'm just going to dip that in and bronze up the face. I actually, I'm not a big fan of bronzers, but I have to say this bronzer here and the Hula Light, I love. Absolutely love, and I think it's just especially because I'm so pale. I find a lot of bronzers to be like orange, like it makes me look like an Oompa Um, but yeah, I really like this one and the Hula Light. I think they just really give like a natural, um, kind of color to the face. It's like not too orange, but it's not too dark or light or whatever. It's just nice. However, I will never use a bronzer to contour my nose. So I'm going into my trusty NYX HD blush and hope. And I got a fresh one! 
fresh one. I have to the old one away because it was just breaking. I got a fresh one. So where is the brush? I ordered more Morphe brushes last night and I'm still waiting for them to arrive. I'm really excited. Because I just use the same blending brushes like over and over. And obviously you don't wash them after every time you use them. So I just like wipe them on the thing, but it's still not the best thing to do. So I ordered more. Plus, different blending brushes help with different looks and things like that. And then for blush, I'm going to be taking... I will always love you. I think, I prefer just to find my love. Because I'm not a big fan of like the orangey, peachy blushes. But I think... Just if I will always love you will go better with this look. I'm not going blush in so long. I feel like I've put loads on, but from what I can see on the camera, it doesn't look too bad. Blender. Okay, and then for highlight, I'm going to be taking Champagne Truffle. Obviously, sticking with this palette. I love this highlight. So good for being like really nice and light and subtle for during the day. But it's really buildable and you can really build it to be like a nice blending highlight. I'm not gonna lie, it tastes amazing as well. Like, I, uh, I don't know, but with this palette, more so to like the, the champagne truffle and chocolate, so like bronzer, but if you ever get fallen, sometimes it's landing on like my tongue or like my lips and I've licked them. Not like intentionally, just cause I've got like dry lips. And uh, it actually tastes kinda nice, I'm not gonna lie. However, I saying that, I wouldn't go like the palette to try that. Now that that's done, I'm going to do under my eyes, so I will zoom you right back in. So I've zoomed you all in, I'm going to do my under eyes. I'm going to go back into this palette, I'm going to take the first colour that I use, Optimistic. And I'm going to take this on the brush I used before as well. I'm just going to connect it from that colour before and run it underneath. I'm going to take the shade Confident and I'm going to run it on the outer and in the corner of the underneath. I'm not going to take this as low as the brown though. take the brush that we used on the lid for the bronzy colour and to spray it with my setting spray. I'm going to dip it in to able the colour that we used on our eyelids just a little bit on the tip and I'm going to put this directly underneath. I'm then going to take the number 7 metallic eyes pencil. I don't know what this shade is, but it's like a nice purpley shade. And I'm just going to run that on my lower waterline. And when I use a pencil, actually whenever I do my waterline, whether it be a gel or a pencil, I like to set that with an eyeshadow just so it lasts longer throughout the day. And I will be setting it with this shade here, which is kind. Now as you 
all know I like to set my face before I put on mascara so it doesn't run so I'm going to do that just now and then I'm going to use my false lash telescopic mascara for my upper lashes and my next skinny mascara for my lower lashes now while that has a chance to dry I will do my lips and I will be using me me my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, liquid lipstick in um, Naked but I'm first going to line my lips and I'm going to be using the NYX retractable lip liner in the shade Natural wanted you could just do finish this look now I mean you don't have to put lipstick on if you fill in all your lips with a lip liner um, and you don't have to wear falsies but obviously I'm going to just do that that I'm going to be using today are the Shop Sila, Sila, I think that's how you say it, Amber Lashes and this is just YouTuber Laura Leth's web shop and I will just link it down below. I absolutely love her shades, um, they've got four, I've got all of them and I think that they might be coming out with more, I really hope so because I love them, they are so long lasting, you can wear them so many times without them breaking or, or getting my stuff or anything like that and they're so full and long and just they're absolutely stunning. This is what these look like. Now I have trimmed them a little bit um, just so they can fit my eyes but they are absolutely stunning. And here is the finished look guys I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial I really like this palette I think I might actually go out and get one for myself really nice the, really, the colors are really diverse and um, it's not really got like a general theme like all browns or all blues whatever and it is really nice and yeah 